About four days ago, my wife consummated an affair she's been having with her therapist for the past seven months. I can't fit all the background story. I wanted to share here. But if there's interest, I'll post the full story to a blog or something. Three months ago, she cut off sex and told me I didn't deserve it anymore and I had to earn the right. I found myself in a dead bedroom as time went on. I kept attempting to talk things through with her. I was starved of intimacy, touch, reassurance, help around the house, everything she suddenly stopped doing anything related to our relationship or household. I felt betrayed. I was convinced that there was more to it, but she kept explaining things away, redirecting the questions, changing facts, etc. I regularly prompted her to please be open and honest with me so we could work things out. But I was exhausting her. She never had time for me and always had higher priority. Things to focus on her resentment of me grew and she was openly hostile to me at that point. Then she scheduled a trip to go on a women empowerment event, females only. And I knew in my heart what was happening, she had found a cover story that she knew I wouldn't argue with. I couldn't sleep. So I snooped through her accounts again. I went through the phone records and search history. I purchased a background search service so I could find out which numbers were, whose there was a suspicious number. So I decided to give it a call and sure enough, the name on the voicemail was none other than her therapist. I did a background search and discovered he lived in the same town. She booked the hotel on the second night of her trip. I accessed her search history and put together a timeline of events of conversations we had compared to her very disturbing search results and various other findings. All of my fears were confirmed even worse than I imagined. She was researching how marriages turn out with your therapist and how to document evidence to prepare for a divorce. She stalked him and his family did background checks on them, researched how to hide assets during divorce, how to catfish someone if a therapist could lose their license if they had sex with a client. The list of things went on. She googled this man nearly every day. The evidence was undeniable. She absolutely loved this man and was stalking him the day before her trip. Five days ago, she searched how to not fart during sex. All the pieces were there and I knew exactly what was going on. I sent her a text message Sunday morning, outlining all of the things I knew that were going on. I called out her AP by name and said she needed to come clean if she had any desire to fix our relationship. She returned Sunday a day early. She demanded to know where I got this information from, but I withheld it and told her that where I got it from was not important and I held my ground. I didn't want to give her the opportunity to obfuscate, twist, deny or reason with any of the evidence. Eventually she spilled all the information described in detail how they had sex. She told me she wanted to continue on with the affair to see where things go, but also wanted to continue her marriage with me because she loves me. I'm sickened. I'm horrified. But for some reason I can't help but think maybe I should try to have an open relationship. Maybe it'll be fun even please someone shake me out of this idiotic line of thinking after some intense hours of her sharing and telling me everything the more I think about it, the crazier. This all sounds. Apparently her therapist is a leader of a group of men that go out into the woods for sexual male empowerment sessions which are secretive and and they are not allowed to say what goes on there instead of my wife attending the female version of this, she attended the graduation ceremony of the male session where each guy got on stage and told his emotional story. Then the family members came on stage to give testimonials of how the man's life improved. After joining this group starting to sound like a cult by the way, like a little girl got on stage to say my daddy is different now. I like him better now. It just so happens that my wife was sat down unknowingly to the top leader of the group who sent to the person in the row in front of them. If only there was a female version of this group. And my wife jumped on the opportunity to say, there is. As a matter of fact, I skipped the session this week to support AP here today. The leader guy said, really? Would you mind speaking about it and sharing information with some people here? So they put her up on stage to talk about this woman's empowerment session. She had never even attended before. I could just be paranoid.
But now I get the feeling her therapist recruits vulnerable women from this organization and indoctrinates them to take advantage of them sexually. I can't prove that I'm at a loss on one side. I'm deeply disturbed and upset by my wife's actions. On the other side, I think she was taken advantage of manipulated and coached by her therapist and I could report him to the board to have his license revoked. My wife said she did not want me to do that and it would make her miserable to know she was the reason for his life falling apart. She wants to have an open marriage and talks about having threesomes and participating in some potentially really fun and interesting sex. She was able to seduce me when she got back and the sex was pretty good. So here I am being a sucker contemplating not filing for divorce. So I don't have to deal with all of that. You didn't get any sex for three months. And the moment you talk about reporting her AP, she seduces you. That therapist is someone who is destroying families and relationships and I am pretty sure your wife is not the only one there. And believe me, it will end absolutely horribly if you try an open relationship with that therapist. If you want to try an open relationship, try it. But with someone else, most importantly, report that AP, there are many more innocent families and women he has destroyed. If you want your wife back, you have to break her a fair fog and that you can do only by reporting her AP. Also work on protecting yourself first. You are very easily manipulated by your wife. She has a solid plan to leave you without offering much in divorce. As you can see from her search history, she has no intention of continuing with you and most probably just buying time to go through her plan. So take control of your hand, protect your money and assets and destroy AP first to bring her out of the fog. Good luck. Now let's get into today's second story. Starting mid to late last year, I could tell my wife was acting differently toward me. She had a much shorter temper and would be somewhat hostile towards me for the littlest things. It was obvious that things were not right. I cannot say exactly how I caught her cheating on me, but I found out kinda by chance and there was no question as to what was happening. This technically was not the first time it happened either. Back in 2018, she had this friend from work. I'll call her TT would often come over and hang out with us after work and on the weekends she was also gay. It got to the point where he became our girlfriend and we would regularly all sleep together. It was fun, but my wife and T developed strong feelings toward each other and it became obvious that that was happening. I knew and had even told my wife that things weren't going to end well when we had to split up. When it got to the point where I felt I was being excluded, I couldn't take it anymore and told my wife to break it off or at least stop being intimate with T when I was not there. She still did at least one more time after that. And I found out that's why I told her that she had to break it off completely. That eventually did happen. But I know they still sexed it. Maybe it was because it was another woman that I didn't feel so threatened or that I knew that this person couldn't provide for her the way I could or that I feel like she couldn't ever truly be with her due to her conservative family. That was all Kitty myself. I now believe after she had broken it off. My wife and I had an intense talk about all of it. She told me about issues she had with me in our relationship and I said I was more than happy to work on those things. But if she was not happy in our relationship, that now is the time for us to end as well. She said that she really wanted to be with me and wished to continue being married. We went on to buy a house and build our relationship pretty strongly. I had thought fast forward a couple of years to 2021. And I find out that she had been having an affair with a co-worker much older than her. Someone that was married, had kids and is allegedly a doctor. I am absolutely devastated just agonizingly despondent. I confronted her and she didn't say a word to me. She just sat there catatonic. It took her days to even muster an apology. She finally told me how it happened and why she told me all sorts of things that devastated me even further, such as she never had an emotional connection to to me that she hated our house and where we lived that she didn't think we were right for each other that she was too sensitive for me, etc. These things absolutely floored me. I also found out that she loved this person a lot. It felt as if someone was stabbing my heart with a hot iron. I went on to find out from her that I often made her feel dumb about things that she had wanted and had alienated her to some degree. 
I feel extremely bad for doing all of these things and they are likely things that I had done. But she never told me about these things. I never had a chance to write what I had wronged. I can even remember specific times that I would ask if she was happy and she never gave me any indication that that wasn't the case. I can say with full confidence that I never mistreated her. I thought I did a good job of taking care of her and loving her. Not long after the initial confrontation, the guy texted me this long rambling apology text. It is obvious this guy is a complete bullshitter type. It's to the point that I kind of can't believe my wife would even be attracted to someone like that. I begged her to come back to me to stop what she was doing and work on our relationship. She said she wanted to, but it was clear in her tone and body language that that was not what she wanted to do at all. She told me that she didn't want to just keep hurting me. What I think this meant was that she did not want to continue our marriage since she could not stop what she was doing. I know that she continued to talk to him on the phone after work every day and would have secret meetings with him whenever she could. By this time, I'm at the end of my rope, I can't concentrate at work when I'm there and regularly cry when I'm there. I cry everywhere all the time. More than I've cried in my entire life. One day I hit a breaking point and kicked her out of the house and filed for divorce. It was simply too much to bear. She came back after four or five days of being kicked out and said she wanted to reconcile and that she had broken it off with this person again. She did not sound convincing in the slightest. In fact, she sounded angry with me when she told me all of this as if I had been the one to do something wrong. All I wanted at this point was to have my wife back so very badly. So I kidded myself and said that everything was going to be fine. But I know it's not. I even texted this guy to confirm that things had ended and to say that if anything continued that I was leaving, he responded by saying it had. But I had no reason to believe him again. Just total bullshit from this guy and pretty much confirms he's a liar. Over the next few weeks, the same behavior continued. So I confronted her yet again and told her that it was for real and the divorce was proceeding in our talk since then. She has said that she still loves me very much and that she will miss me when she's gone. It's the weirdest thing to hear from someone that treats you so contrary to that. It's been an absolutely harrowing experience that I don't think I'll ever get out of my mind. I simply cannot reconcile how someone could love two people at once. Like that. My heart simply couldn't be able to do that. I feel like there will be so many things from this experience that I will never be able to comprehend. All I'm left with is so much regret and lament. I will truly miss the relationship I thought I had and I don't think anything will ever feel the same. I do not believe that this is hyperbole in the slightest. I really, really loved this person and I feel completely lost. My main takeaways and advice are to be very sure that your partner is taken care of and really try to make sure they're heard. I hope you'll take this as a cautionary tale and learn from the mistakes that were made. The reality is your wife slash ex-wife is a selfish manipulator. I truly don't believe you could have done anything to fix this. It was 100% unheard to fix herself, which is why she is the way she is. She cheated. Once you rug swept, she cheated a second time and would have rung swept again. She didn't love you and him. If she truly loved you, she would have never done what she did. Don't reminisce about her. She was a terrible partner to you. She has gaslighted you and told you all those things to make herself not the bad person. That is the reality of what took place. I hated reading it, but figured I would be the first to give you an honest assessment of why read, take care of yourself physically and mentally, have fun with your hobbies. And then when you're ready, you will find someone worth your time and you will see what a real relationship looks and feels like good luck. Thank you for taking the time to listen to today's stories. If you enjoyed listening, please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also comment below with your thoughts on today's stories. Take care everyone.